So you want to learn how to wind up and throw a spin top. This is how you do it. So if you're going to throw it with this hand, grab it with the other hand. Trap the knot with your thumb right there at the equator of the spin top. Wrap around the crown, trap the knot. Point the tip towards your throw hand. Wrap over the top, not under, over the top. And give that first wind a nice big tug. And then keep it snug as you wind up. There should not be any bumps or lumps and wind it all the way up till you're out of string. And then to hold it, make like a Vulcan and put that button right in between those two fingers, your middle finger and your ring finger. Hold the top just above the equator with your index finger and your thumb or just above the equator of the spin top. Now, when you throw a top, the tip needs to be pointed straight up. Now, if you just hold it natural, it kind of looks like it's pointed out that way. If the string is the right length and size, the spin top will flip over 180 degrees. So if we throw it like this, it's going to come back like this and be hard to catch. Or if we just throw it to the ground, it's going to land like this. So there's two ways to compensate. Either you can cock your wrist up like this, which is pretty easy to do. Or if you're still having problems, you can even point, put the tip kind of in the web of your hand. And that way the tip is pointed straight up. Now, one thing that you have to remember when you push it, when you throw it, I guess, you're going to pivot at your shoulder only. There's no elbow action in there. Um, you yo-yo players might have a tough time because you're used to kind of a whip, but this is just a push. Pivots at your shoulder. And then when you let go of it, you need to make sure that your hand's kind of like this. If you let go of it like this, the button's going to fly out. If you're having problems with that, you can put the button in between those two fingers and then put the string through the Vulcan gap and then grip it like I showed you before. So, on to the throw. Once again, you're gripping it like this, the tip is pointed straight up, you pivot at your shoulder, and I'm gonna aim for a spot over there. And all you do is push and kind of let go at the end of it. Uh, there's no pullback yet, all we're trying to do is get it to spin on the ground, let's try it. And it should look a little bit like that. So after you learn how to spin on the ground, you're going to want to learn how to get it up into your hand to do tricks. Uh, one way is to do the skyrocket, and there's several ways to do that. We'll cover that in a different video. The other way is just the scoop, and all you do for that is put your throw hand down onto the floor, and you're just going to use your index finger to kind of pop it up into your palm like that. All that's really happening is the, the spin top is spinning this way, and it does a little grind on your index finger as it pops it up into your palm like that. Now if you have wet sticky hands, this isn't going to work very well. You might want to use some talc uh, on your palm uh, to make it a little bit drier uh, and then it will work a lot easier. And then you can get it up under your hand and start learning some tricks that we can cover in other videos. I hope this helps. We'll see you around.